Hi, my friends. Look at here. Look at page 14. And possessive adjectives and pronouns. Look at here. We, you can choose these one and read and choose. Who are, yes, your favorite TV family? Here are some of ours. These are three of our favorite TV families. Now write in and tell us about yours. Yes. Look at here and you can write on your book. And you can stop this video and you can write on them. Now look at here. Positive adjective and positive pronouns. Positive adjectives come before a noun to show who something belongs to. For example, it's my book. It's my book. This is positive adjective. It's my book. We have to use noun. But positive pronouns can take the place of the positive adjectives and the noun. The book is mine. Ayetik de arkadaşlar, bu benim kitabım diye kullanıyoruz. Benim kitabım. Ama positive pronouns da Kitap benimki. Kitap benimki. Mine benimki anlamında kullanılıyor. Yes. Positive adjectives. The first one which one we use. It is my book. The book is. Yes. We can finish here. It's your book. It is her book. It is his book. We can say. It's our book. It is their book. Bu benim kitabım. Bu senin kitabın. Bu bayan olarak onun kitabı. Bu onun kitabı. Erkek his book. Bu bizim kitabımız. Bu onların kitabı. Positive pronouns bakalım. The book is mine. Bu kitap benimki. Bakın buradaki karşılığı olarak. The book is yours. Bu kitap seninki. Senin kitabın demeye gerek yok. Seninki. Yours diye kullanabilir. The book is hers. Onunki. Bayan olarak onunki. The book is his. Erkek olarak onunki. The book is ours. Bizimki. The book is theirs. Onlarınki. Positive pronounce'a tekrar nesneyi yazmaya gerek yok arkadaşlar. Zaten o anlamlı değil. Yes. Look at here. Who's and to ask about possession. Possession. Use the question word who's. Kimin. To talk about possession as as. To the end of a name or a noun. If the name or noun ends in an S, add the apostrophe after the S. For example, whose or who son is Bart? Bart, kimin oğlu derken, kimin derken ne kullanacağız? Who son? Yes. Bart is Homer's son. Lisa'nın annesi kim diye soruyoruz. Who is Lisa's mom? Lisa's mom is Kim? Mark. Yes. Now look at here. Burada da yine arkadaşlar cümlenin anlamına bakıyoruz. Whose phone is this? Kim'in telefonu? As Jenny, I think it is Hers. Jenny is or Benjo. Onunki. Hey, that's my sandwich. There is a noun. But no, the next one, right, guys? Mine, benimki. Oh, mine. That's it. Benim sandwichim. Not yours. Seninki değil. I'm sure that's Kate's bike. Kate's bicycle. It looks just like. Hers. 
onun ki gibi görünüyor. For Who do you sit next to in maths? Rashid of course. Is that your parents dog? Yes, I think it is theirs. And now look there is recovery. Yes, how can you complain this part? For example, who is Robert? Grandpa, yes. He is grandpa. And Diana or Gemma. Gemma, who is Gemma? My aunt is Gemma. Aunt. And Jamie's little brother. He is Jenny's little brother. Yes, Grandma Diana. Grandma. You can. My uncle Bob. My uncle Bob. Robin, my cousin. That's big brother. My cousin Jenny. You can write on your book and we can go on with them. Yes, we can go on. Yes, we can go on with this part. There's a listening part. Please, first of all, listen and we can answer this question. Unit 4, page 41. Listening. Exercises 2 and 3. Conversation 1. Kathy, what are you doing? I'm looking for your yellow and black shirt. What? I'm looking for your yellow and black shirt. Why? I want to wear it tonight. What? What about asking me first? OK. Can I borrow your yellow and black shirt? That's not how to ask, Kathy. <sighs> Dear, lovely, beautiful, wonderful Lucy, best sister in the whole wide world, please, please, can I borrow your shirt? No, you can't. Oh, I hate you! Mum! Lucy's being horrible to me! Mum! Conversation 2 Can I go out tonight, Mum? Where do you want to go? To Jane's house to watch a film. Have you got any homework? Only a bit. Hmm, I don't know. Please, Mum. Um, I'm sorry, Tom. I'm going to say no. I want you to stay in tonight. But, Mum... No buts, Tom. That's the final word. Oh, it's not fair. I only want to go out for two hours. Hello. Hi, Dad. Good day at work. Yes. Thanks, Tom. Dad, can I go out tonight, just for a couple of hours, to Jane's house? Have you asked your mum? <laughs> yes. Well, I suppose that's OK, then. Dad, you're the best. Look at here, and we can choose order the sentences. Yes. Which one it can be, for example, first one? Which one? Yes, the first sentences. My sister always wants to borrow my clothes. It drives me mad. Who can you choose to? Second, the one. Yes, it's about four. My grandpa just talks about the good old days. I'm not very really interested. Büyük babam sürekli bana eski günlerden bahsediyor. Fakat onunla ilgilenmiyorum. The last one. Yes, six one. My brother plays games all day. He never lets me play. Artık kardeşim sürekli oyun oynuyor ve benim oynuyorum ama izin vermiyor. Yes, look at. 
It's about the conversation. What is the relationship between the city card? Listen again. Kathy, what are you doing? I'm looking for your yellow and black shirt. What? I'm looking for your yellow and black shirt. Why? I want to wear it tonight. What? What about asking me first? Okay. Can I borrow your yellow and black shirt? That's not how to ask, Kathy. <sighs> Dear, lovely, beautiful, wonderful Lucy, best sister in the whole wide world, please, please, can I borrow your shirt? No, you can't. Oh, I hate you! Mum! Lucy's being horrible to me! Mum! So the first one, we can, what can we say? Yes, they are sisters. And the second one, you have this on this part. Yes, parent and child. Look at you. Can I close? No, yes. Look at you. Listen. Conversation one. Kathy, what are you doing? I'm looking for your yellow and black shirt. What? I'm looking for your yellow and black shirt. Why? I want to wear it tonight. What? What about asking me first? OK. Can I borrow your yellow and black shirt? That's not how to ask, Kathy. <sighs> Dear, lovely, beautiful, wonderful Lucy, best sister in the whole wide world, please, please, can I borrow your shirt? No, you can't. Oh, I hate you! Mum! Lucy's being horrible to me! Mum! Conversation 2 Can I go out tonight, Mum? Where do you want to go? To Jane's house to watch a film. Have you got any homework? Only a bit. Hmm, I don't know. Please, Mum. Um, I'm sorry, Tom. I'm going to say no. I want you to stay in tonight. But, Mum... No buts, Tom. That's the final word. Oh, it's not fair. I only want to go out for two hours. Hello! Hi, Dad. Good day at work. Yes. Thanks, Tom. Dad, can I go out tonight, just for a couple of hours, to Jane's house? Have you asked your mum? <laughs> yes. Well, I suppose that's OK, then. Dad, you're the best. OK, the first one. Which one is true? Yes, the What does Lucy's sister Kate want to borrow? Yes, Lucy's shirt. Why does she want to borrow it? Yes, she wants very pride. Does Lucy say yes or no? She says no. Where does Tom want to go? To Jane's house to watch a film. What does his mom say? He wants him to stay at home. What does his dad say? He says it's okay. Now look at here. Asking for permission, saying yes or saying no. For example, here, which one we can use? Can I borrow your yellow, yellow and black shorts? Can I borrow? Asking for permission. Yani is not a can. Can I give you Is not a can. Can I borrow your yellow and a black shorts? Give the nearest expression. Ve yine aşağısı da Can I go out tonight? Can I go out tonight? Bu da yine annemizden babamızdan izin alırken kullandığımız ekler. Can I go out tonight? Şey çıkabilir miyim? Can I borrow your yellow and black shirt? Senin sarı ve siyah gömleğini kullanabilir miyim? Of course you can. No, you can't. Okay, I think it's enough for this lesson. See you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.